my lowest darkness that I ever had, it was dealing with drugs, anger, and my mind used to be thinking about killing people. And it just like, I had a mindset, like I didn't care about nobody feelings and it was all about me. I was want to walk around with firearm, want to shoot at people, don't care if they got kids standing around, don't care if a newborn baby was there. All my mind was demonized and always wanted to take people's life away. I grew up with my grandma, but my father was, uh, he was never around. As a father, you know, you're supposed to be there for your child and, you know, to teach your child, to instruct your child, to discipline your child. I never had that. At the age of 15, I was incarcerated for five years. I came home when I was 20. Just, I just run the street to respect my mom, threatened to kill my mom. Nobody wanted to be around me. Last year, I caught a charge, a firearm charge, and uh, doing a road rage, and I was gonna take the gun and then shoot at the person around Miami Garden at 10 o'clock in the morning when my son was in the car, and I got arrested. And when I got arrested, and I was sitting in jail, I was thinking, like, it's, it's just time, it's just time to go back. You know, all the things, all the pain I put my wife to, my kids, I couldn't deal with it no more. They was talking about deliverance retreat, deliverance retreat, deliverance retreat. I said, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. And the message they were preaching, you could see that God's presence was there. And, and I was thinking to myself, I said, you know what? I think it's time for me to, to give my life back to God. The pastor was preaching about unforgiveness. And just God just started just talking to me. And I started crying, and tears just started coming out of my eyes. I said, you know what? Enough is enough. And, and I was thinking about, what about if I do one more thing and I end up losing my life and end up dying and don't go to hell? What about my children on the street? How they gonna be? be growing up and not without no father because I didn't want to have that same mistake put the same mistake on them then for them not to be growing without a father and during that moment after that after deliverance she, I felt so light the mind that I had God gave me now he gave me a mind of his of his mind and the kingdom the kingdom of heaven in my heart to pray for people to just love people I didn't have that in my heart it was hard for me to be humble when I was in the world, but now the way God changed me, He delivered me, He blessed me, He could do it for anybody. Witchcraft can't do it for you. Voodoo cannot do it for you. I don't care how much money you spend, those things cannot make you awesome. Only one person that could deliver you is the Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody's surprised when they see how God did a 360 over my life. They were shocked. They said, that's unbelievable. How God changed this man so hard? Because the reason why I surrender, I crucify my desire, I crucify my flesh, and I pick up that cross and I follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Because if it was for me, it wouldn't be able to done. God had to be in my life. God had to be in my heart, in my spirit for me to stop doing those things. And my wife see the transformation. I get up and praise with my kids and worship with my kids. And how we got it together, we give gl glory to the Lord and God just been awesome to me. And he's a merciful God. You know, God would take you out of the midst and make you become somebody. A lot of people used to look at me like I wasn't nobody, but God see me as I'm somebody. <laughs>